Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to prophetic intercession with a male. It's always an honor each time that um God gives me an opportunity to give you a prophetic message. I did I do not take it for granted. I know it could have been anyone else, but God has chosen me to be that person through which He want to pass this information to you. Hallelujah. So God bless you and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you. And if you're yet to to subscribe to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live or god gives us a prophetic word you're not going to miss out hallelujah and so god was ministering to me he said you know there are, there are times when you hear when you realize the people that are against you or your adversary when you get to examine who they are it might be so scary when someone that is stronger than you, that has more influence, power, and everything than you comes against you, you are frightened, you are shaken. And, you know, it's, it's difficult to, you feel like it's difficult to fight. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to go about it. But I have a great news for someone. God gave me this prophetic word, and I even shared it in our live session, where you know, the Philistines were coming up against against the Israel, Israelites. And at that time, Samuel was the prophet that God has set to lead the Israelites. And so the Philistines were really strong. They came up so strong. And the Israelites were scared because they had seen their, maybe their um, ammunition, the things they wanted to use for, for battle. And they were so scared, they ran to Samuel and they told him, please, Talk to God on our behalf. Let him help us fight this because on our own we cannot. These people are stronger than us. One thing I want to tell you is do not be scared of your adversary because they are strong. You have a great God. He is stronger. As a matter of fact, I don't like saying that God is stronger because there is no competition. My goodness, he is the custodian. All power in heaven and on earth has been, he has it. He has it. And so you do not have to be frightened by the adversaries that come against you because they are strong. God is stronger. God just, you just need to have God on your side. In every battle you engage in, you just need to have God on your side. And every other thing is going to be history. You just need to have God fighting for you you just need to be sure that god is with you in that thing you're doing and every other thing will be history and so samuel based on the request of the israelites he went to god they told him um, um samuel chapter 7 from verse 8 they said please plead with god to save us they begged Samuel. So Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it to the Lord as a whole burnt offering and pleaded with him to help Israel. And the Lord responded. Hmm. Just as Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines arrived for battle. But the Lord spoke with a mighty voice of thunder from heaven and they were thrown into confusion and the Israelites rooted them. God just thundered with a loud voice from heaven. That was all they needed. And there was confusion in the enemy camp. And the Israelites were able to win them. So you, 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 you see that the Philistines had everything. They had all their ammunition to defeat Israel. But one word from God. God just thundered from heaven and there was confusion. So do not be frightened. Because of the might of your enemy. The only question you should ask yourself is, is God with me in this? Is the Lord on my side in this? You just have to get God to be with you. And maybe unlike Samuel or the Israelites, you may not have to give a burnt offering. Because what actually uh, activated the voice of God, the Bible says is when Samuel gave a suckling lamb as an offering to god he burnt it as a sacrifice and why he was so there are certain times when you are in battle and you sow strategic seeds to confront that battle to get god on your side 
we are seeing here right we are seeing here how samuel did that and he got go and he got god got to thunder with a voice from heaven setting confusion in the in the enemy camp there is another situation where the king um uh, um i've forgotten the exact um people but they were fighting against the children of god and the battle was so fierce god was on the side of his children god was on the side of the israelites and this king saw that the battle was so fierce he decided to take his son his only son the heir the heir to his throne and sacrifice him the bible says he tapped the child to the wall and when god saw that sacrifice god turned against his own people the power of sacrifice but I, I, I was not um this video was not to talk about the power of sacrifice but as we were <clears throat> as the, the as god will have it as we're ministering god just let me to tell you how you can get god on your side when it has to do with battles you sacrifice there are times that you have to plant sacrificial seed to hand over the battle to god you say lord i hand over this battle to you and i am hoping that you are going to fight for me every time that has happened god responds oh my goodness the bible says here um this new living translation says that after summer offered a burnt offering to god god responded with a loud voice i don't know who needs to hear this word I am given. I don't know how it's supposed to serve as a confirmation. I don't know what battle you are fighting and you want God to look on your side. Your own specific instruction might be that you do a sacrificial seed. You do a sacrificial giving. It might be to, uh, to, to the motherless babies. It might be to a particular ministry. It might be to something, but you just have to do a sacrifice to God to get God to look at your direction to get God on your side, to have him respond. If you have prayed and the battle is still going on, you have done everything you can, maybe you should take a sacrificial seed and tell God, this is for this battle. I am handing it over to you and God will respond like he did to the Israelites and like he did to that king in the Bible that sacrifices only son just to win a battle god whenever god sees a sacrifice it doesn't god responds to sacrifices child of god god responds to sacrifices god will not turn a blind eye to any form of sacrifice and a sacrifice is something that costs you i want to pray for someone in this life in, in this i want to pray for somebody right now you are facing a particular challenge a particular battle and you are so scared because you feel like your enemies are strong i pray that god is going to take over your battle in the mighty name of jesus god will take over that fight in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that even as God thundered with a loud voice from heaven and set the Philistines into confusion, confusion is going to be the case of your enemies. Anyone that rises up against you in the mighty name of Jesus and those who are taking that bold step to do a sacrifice, you give an, you want to give an offering or you, you, you're going to give an offering, a sacrifice connecting to God, fighting your battles. May God honor that giving in the mighty name of jesus may god fight your battles in the most unlikely places may he send you help in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen god is taking over your battles god is taking over your fight and he is giving you the victory it doesn't matter how strong your enemies appear to be god will take over and give you the victory in jesus mighty name amen i pray that the lord will bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you that he will be gracious to you and give you peace in jesus mighty name amen